Last time I was here was in 1982. My grandparents put me up one summer while I worked at Ball Metal, earning some cash for college. Grandpa had this list when he died. Not a will, mind you, but a list. A list for my mother and her two sisters. That's my wife, Monica. She's looking through Grandpa and Grandma's photo albums. This is her first time here. We've been married six years and have two little girls. And she thinks it's important for our daughters to know their lineage. She might be right. So they never talked to you about it when you were living here? No. Mom only said that she was a foster child. But still, you could have legal rights. Sounds like you're gathering evidence for the FBI. Only if it helps to identify her things. Is the Levi with them? The mysterious missing Levi? I doubt it. Mom and Dad's teeth are still in a glass of water. Dad kept them together so they could kiss all night. Why would they bury him in his good teeth, though? They could have switched him after the showing. Am I the only one thinking that Aunt Mildred was secretly wondering if Grandpa's good teeth would fit in her mouth? Thirty years of farming. All anyone remembers of Dad now is how he died. And now we're just supposed to move on. What's that even mean? It means that we clear this house out. And it means we'll tend to our own families and not blame Tessie Sue for being Tessie Sue. It's just that every time she comes back here, things get crazy. Flores para los muertos! Whew. God, I feel like I came out here in a wagon train. Give me a scotch, show me the shitter, and put me in a coffin. A beautiful ranch house with a hot tub and six horses. And here I am, sitting in the shithole. I built a life for myself, whether you all like it or not. Whatever has been stolen from this safe needs to be investigated. Probate court, here we come. You have to be careful how you die. I'm sorry y'all had to see that. 